on earth too. This time I thought, who here really needs to be my dear? Here we are always to be prepared that you are assigned. This function is not just a basic function. So we have to use the differentiation rule. So if you look at the function, the construction of the function is constructed by addition of x cubed and sine of basic functions. No? So we can sum, we can try to sum of the differential, second row. So if you look at the sum rule, we are to different sum of the function. Okay. Instead of differentiating the sum, we can differentiate the individual sum. Then add the result. So this side of the sample says first add the two functions together, then differentiating result, differentiate the resulting function. But this side is saying instead we can do each function, we can individually differentiate and then add the result. Okay? So here this sample allows us to change the order of the operation. Here I'm First doing the sum, then doing the differentiation. But this side, I am first doing the differentiation and then doing the sum. Okay? So we can change the order like of these two operations only because we have this sum rule. Okay? So no, we cannot change the order always if it's not supported by a rule. Remember that. Okay? For example, even in real life, let's say you are driving a car. So if you normally put First, put the turn signal and then change the uh, turn the car. No, if you reverse the order, if you first turn the car and then put the uh, uh, signal, then it's not good. No? So if you change the order of operations there, it will not work. So like that, we cannot always change the order of operations unless it's supported by a rule. Okay, so here for the sum supported by the sum rule or instead of differentiating the sum first we can differentiate individual result functions and then add okay. so again here we can use that power advantage because these two basic functions the sum of the two basic functions i don't have a differentiation formula for data so uh, because of that i will change the order using the sum rule so if I apply the sum rule, this side I have to compare with the F side and identify F and G, no? So here if I identify F and G, first function I can add the then second function I can label as G. Okay? So here I am asked to differentiate F plus G, no? Instead, according to the sum rule, I can differentiate each function separate I can do. so okay, so we use the combo here and this is function First, I differentiate the x that is x cube, no? Plus, I differentiate g that is sine x. I mean, sine So, here I am, uh, I can consider it as plugging into the formula. I identified f and g and then plugging into the formula or you can think as to differentiate each function in this and then add the result. Okay. 
So I use this differentiation tool and break it down to a differentiation of two basic functions. So now I can differentiate each function. They are in this list. No? So now I can go ahead and differentiate each function. For the derivative of x cube, I have used this power rule. So here I compare the left side and identify n to be 3. No? So when we use the power rule, we bring down the a and then x. Then I decrease this power by 1. No n minus 1. n is 3. So n minus 2. Plus now this side. Again, this one is a basic function. Differentiate into the sign. So that is derivative of cos. For the final line, is here 3 x squared plus cos. So again, here I don't know how to differentiate this compound function. So I use the sum rule and break it down to base different derivative of two basic functions. Then I can use the result. Here, sum rule is simple. You can simply change the order. No? So, before to two. Okay. Now let's go on to part B. So here I will use the dash notation. So again, if I look at this, is sine x plus cos x, I don't know to differentiate. No? Okay. So because of that, again, I have to use a differentiation rule to break it down. Again, this is the composite function is made out of two sum of two functions. So I can start by applying the sum rule. Okay. So mm -hmm. I write the sum rule in that notation here. So it starts different here in the yeah, I must differentiate the sum first, add and then differentiate. No? Instead of I can just differentiate each function separately and add the result. Okay. So here again to add the rule, I have to identify the first and second function F and D. Easily I can compare this and I identify first function to be the sine of second one. Now uh, I can use the sample here. Use sample. I differentiate the integral function. Then I have to go what? Dash and d dash. You know. Also, we can write this dash when we are just saying integral function and just write dash without the bracket. You no. Know? Saying the derivative of f and b. Now, that here I have five, five x some derivative of f. So no? here again, I'm first differentiate and then add it. Okay. So now I'm back down to derivative of basic function. Now I can differentiate the sine of the derivative of the then derivative of cos x is sin, minus sine x. Okay, so this minus and plus get multiplied here. No, minus times plus minus. 